Hey everyone, 24 hours after the release and I thought I'd just do a quick update, tell you what's going on. It's been a lot of talk and a lot of things going on online, so let's get the real story on today's Ham Radio Deluxe video newsletter. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Hammerio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, so we're doing good. Um, you know, 24 hours after the release, things are going pretty well. Um, I'll be doing videos. I'll mention this here in a little bit, but I'll be doing videos, kind of walk through some of the new features. But... Um, yeah, things are going great. Um, honestly, better than I expected, and uh, which is good news. We did. We spent a lot of time in beta. Spent some conversations about, gosh, you should have had more beta testers, or you should have, uh, you know, spent more time in beta. <laughs> but we had a pretty good group of beta testers, and they worked hard. And so I'm I'm very grateful for all their all their commitment and getting things done. Um, they were, you know, out, countless hours uh, over the course of the last several months. Very helpful. Um, the downloads of 6.9 have been heavier than any prior release of any sort. So I was looking at it, it's just been thousands and thousands of downloads. So that's been really good. Uh, there's been a whole lot of extremely positive comments. Um, Lindy's capturing those and uh, we'll probably be posting some of them. Um, you know, there's some, been some people that have had negative comments and I'll get to, you know, the primary reason for that in a minute, but overwhelmingly positive. And the people who've done this are saying, yeah, it, you know, I just ran the installer. It converted my database and everything's great. It's fast. Love the features. So that's the most common, um, um, experience that people are having. So. Uh, the biggest challenges are you know, there, there aren't any serious defects. We're working on a couple things. Um, there's an uncommon rela uh, item related to the database migration wizard. We've had like two people report something where, it, it, you know, for whatever reason, it, the migration wizard wouldn't complete. Um, no data was lost. There's no damage to anything as a result. But, um, uh, you know, we want to make sure that that works. And I think it has to do with non-access versions of, of the database, but we're getting through that. Um, refining the B4 status. And so, um, you know, B4 is, you know, pretty, pretty good. Um, there's a couple of cases where one of the beta testers brought up something they'd like to see worked on. So we're going to do that. Um, there's been some false alarms for the work status indicator alarms. Um, but beyond that, and I've said this before, now that we've got logbook released and it's new rewrite with QT instead of MFC, we can do maintenance releases as often as they're needed. So um, that's that's what we're going to do. So you may see another you may see a maintenance release in in a few days or a week. We may wait a, a couple days or weeks after that one and do another one. It all depends on what's going on, but. Um, there are, you know, the, the thing related to um, the false alarms, I listed that as, as a major because that's a really important thing uh, for me anyway and, and a lot of other people probably, but there aren't any other major um, defects. There's a handful of minor ones, and, and when I say a handful, I'm talking about a couple dozen, and they're not something that most people would see, frankly, so we're not chasing big issues at all and um, so that's that's good news we should probably be able to clean up most of those fairly quickly some of them depend upon um, connections into rig control or dm780 so those things are kind of coming along with those rewrites so um, other than that we've already moved on in fact some of the team had already started on the rewrite for rig control uh, rotor control satellite tracking DM 780. Um, yeah, it won't take long to get those done. They're not as nearly as complex as uh, logbook is. Um, but if you think about it, you know you got 
you know, Simon, who did fantastic work putting this whole thing together, um, you know, and, and other developers, and it took them, you know, 25 years to get it to the point to where we brought in a small handful of developers and had them rewrite the whole logbook in a matter of, you know, a couple of years. So wasn't our intention to go that long, but that's kind of just the way it worked out. And it's, it's done well. Um, so let's talk about the one thing that people are complaining about, which is really is the one thing actually. And it's always been our policy that will be compatible or ham radio deluxe will be compatible with any supported version of windows that is any version of windows supported by microsoft some years ago when um, microsoft was getting rid of windows xp i wrote an article that was published in qst magazine i think the name of the article was microsoft is ending support for windows xp now what and uh you know, it's it's just kind of the evolution of, of an operating system, really. Um, you know, the same thing happens for Mac or Linux. It's just they're not as, <laughs> I'm going to say they're not as dramatic about it uh, in terms of their approach. But um, honestly, I've been using Windows 11 for a few years now. It's dramatically better than Windows 10, and Windows 10 was better than Windows 8, and Windows 8 was better than 7, and so it goes. Um, so... I would say that, um, you know, some things to think about here really is that Microsoft ended support for Windows 10 earlier this month. That doesn't mean you can't run Windows 10, and I think they're going to make security patches for it for a while, but they're not going to support it. And even Flex Radio had a, um, a notice come out here recently where they effectively said the same thing we're saying, that um, they're not going to support Windows 10 anymore that I'm paraphrasing but that they're not doing bug fixes for Windows 10 and so on that that's kind of where we are and I'll get to the point here in a moment but um, you know therefore Windows Windows uh, uh, or Ham Radio Deluxe is officially supported uh, on any version of Windows 11 that's supported by Microsoft it's important to know that not all versions of Windows 11 are supported by Microsoft but the ones you're probably running are and um, Windows, among other things, requires TPM version 2.0. This came out in 2014. It's really um, a security function within the processor itself or the motherboard processor. Um, it also requires a 64-bit processor. Those came out in 2003. But uh, TPM 2.0 came out in 2014. And then AVX, um, Advanced Vector Graphics, I think is what it is, um, is required by the version of QT that we're using in development. So that's what replaced MFC, and that's what the rewrite's been all about generally. But that came out in 2013. So think of it this way. AVX2 came out before TPM 2.0 did, and so therefore any PC that will run Windows 11 has AVX2 um, because you know because it's just going to have it because it came out before TPM 2.0. Um, but in reality, we're not saying that we're only that that you can only run it on Windows 11. You may have a computer that's got AVX2 that's running Windows 10. For all I know, you could have a PC that has AVX2 that's running Windows 8 or Windows 7. It doesn't really matter, but the, the general context of this is is that, you know, if your PC is less than 12 years old, and in particular, if it's capable of running Windows 11, then it'll be okay with our software. And that's just kind of the, you know, the progression of software and things like that, and it's where we are. Um, support, by the way, just thought I'd mention this. We do support on a first-come, first-served basis. We're a little bit behind at the moment because we've had such an uptick in mostly sales-related inquiries, though, um, but uh, and, and a bunch of how-tos um, as well. So, But, um, you know, I, I'd prefer that you go to the online portal at support.hamriodeluxe.com. That'll get you directly into the queue. You can send an email into support. Um, if you call the the if you call and leave a voicemail, it's going to show up in the sales queue, 
and then somebody in sales is going to have to find it and, and move it over into tech support and that'll delay you a bit and getting support still works but uh, if you want to get into the support queue quickly the best thing to do is go to the the online portal that also helps we've had cases where you know people are saying that our emails go into their spam folder or whatever if you go to the online portal you have to worry about all that stuff because you're gonna that that's where everything goes <laughs> Regardless of whether it's email, phone, or whatever, it all goes into that support portal, and you'll be able to see your responses pretty much as soon as we respond there. Uh, what's coming up next? So I, I mentioned this. Um, we're, we're working on uh, doing some maintenance releases on um, Logbook. We may have one out here before the end of the week. It's presently uh, Tuesday the 28th of October. I think we'll probably have one out before the end of the week. Um, we're, like I said, immediately starting on the rewrite. I'm going to be doing some how-to videos uh, to kind of, and they'll be short, like three minutes. You know, kind of, here's how you do this, here's how you do that, and um, on certain specific topics. And uh, just to get everybody kind of up to speed with, there's been a lot of changes. You know, it's funny because people used to say, well, I don't see a lot different in, in your software. Well, there's a lot different now. We're not going to change the look and feel, but there's a lot of new things in there. Um, things are laid out a lot more cleanly, better. And I'll get into that when we do the videos. Uh, also working on uh, documentation. Um, a lot of the logbook documentation has already been done, um, but we're gonna, I'm going to keep working on it because there's some things that I just want to make sure are completely up to date. So that's where we are. We're in pretty good shape. Um, you know, don't believe everything you hear because uh, there's a lot of ex exaggeration out there. And, you know, I knew full well that, you know, some people would say, well, I'm going to let everybody else run the software and I'm going to see how it works out for them and then I'll do it. But um, honestly, probably 10 to 1, there are people saying this is great. And it is. And they've had no problems. So um, um, that's what's going on. Again, appreciate all the support, and uh, we'll keep the videos coming, so tune right back in. I'm Mike, WA9PIE73.